Yes. Do all plants bear flowers? Do all plants give flowers? Let's see. Most plants around us bear flowers. Yes, most of the plants they give new flowers. Okay. Some of them bear flowers only in a particular season. So there are some plants that bear flowers only in some season. Okay. And some others bear flowers. They produce flowers throughout the year. Some plants produce flowers only in a season particular season but some plants produce the flowers throughout the year plants like ferns and pine ferns then pine have you seen fern and pine tree huh? full of green leaves isn't it yes they do not bear flowers at all for these trees or this plant the we cannot see flowers or these plants cannot produce flowers ferns and pine so most of the plants produce flowers some in a particular season some throughout the year there are few plants that cannot produce flowers like ferns and pine yes flowers like pansy can you see the image of pansy the purple color image of pansy then dahlia yes dahlia image you can see isn't it pansy dahlia and jasmine jasmine flowers you know jasmine plant isn't it flowers also white color bloom during the winter season so these plants produce flowers or these flowers bloom in which season yes during winter season while marigold marigold image you can see there marigold then salvia and sunflower you can see the image of sunflower isn't it yes marigold salvia and sunflower these flowers bloom in which season they bloom during the summer season so there are flowers that blooms or during winter season some bloom during summer season daffodils tulips carnation and calliops calliopsis bloom during the spring season there are few flowers that bloom during spring season also they are daffodils tulips carnation and calliopsis 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 see the spelling calliopsis c-a-l-l-i-o-p-s-i-s -L -L -I calliopsis okay so daffodils tulips carnation and calliopsis bloom during the spring season we can see these kind of flowers mainly abroad outside india more the spring season in india uh, we we don't receive this season we receive we have uh, summer season we have winter season we have monsoon rainy season okay but spring season uh, we can see uh, in another countries more okay so there we can see these kind of flowers more okay yes so most plants uh, because they produce flowers some plants produce flowers in winter season they are pansy dahlia jasmine these flowers bloom in winter season and some plants produce flowers in summer season and the flowers like barigold salvia sunflower these all bloom in summer season and there are uh, flowers that blooms during spring season also they are daffodils tulips carnation and calliopsis calliopsis okay yes so these are the flowers that bloom during different seasons but there are few plants that cannot bear flowers they cannot produce flowers like ferns and pine now let us see what is pollination okay pollination what is pollination in flowers flowers have beautifully colored petals of different shapes colors and sizes isn't this petals are the most attractive parts of the flower we learned uh, petals comes in different shapes uh, or different colors uh, different sizes some petals are of red some are of yellow some are of blue etc so petals comes in different colors sizes and shapes the flower has a sweet 
taste in juice called nectar n e c t a r nectar we say it is a sweet uh, liquid uh, sweet liquid of flowers flowers has a sweet taste in juice or sweet liquid called nectar you can see insects comes and uh, they suck this juice from the flowers so bees and flies are attracted towards the colorful petals so bees and flies uh, these insects comes and they attract towards this petals and they come and suck the juice of these attractive petals they feed on the nectar and in the process the pollen grains stick to the body so what happens these bees and flies they comes uh, they uh, they attracted by this uh, petals and they come they come to suck the juice from the flowers while doing that while they feed what happens this um, pollen grains a yellow colored powder substance yellow colored powder that it, it falls on this bodies or it will stick to the bodies of these insects then what happens when they move to another flower so what happens uh, from that first flower they suck and this pollen grains stick to the insect then again that flies or bees goes to another flower to suck the juice of that flower that time what happens the pollen grains that stick to them it fall on the stigma of the carpel of that flower stigma of the carpel or stigma means or carpel means the female part isn't it so this pollen grains will fall on the female part of the next flower when this bees and flies goes to another flower to suck the juice so the ovary contains the egg so female part we have ovary isn't it that ovary has an egg so the combination of pollen and egg produce a fruit then the, the ovary has an egg and that egg and pollen together forms they combine and together forms a fruit then from fruit again seed from seed then new plant so this is actually what is pollination so how pollination happens in a flower this is the way how pollination happens in flowers okay so flowers they have the beautiful attractive part called petals isn't it the petals are in different size or different shape we say isn't it yes or different colors also so what happens bees and flies they come and suck the juice of this uh, attractive flowers they have a sweet liquid a sweet taste in juice called nectar and bees and flies come and sit on this flower to suck the juice that time what happens the yellow powdered substance it stick to this their bodies and when they go to the next flower when they move to the next flower to suck the juice to drink or to feed what happens this pollen that already stick to the bodies it will fall to the female part of another flower and female part uh, called stigma uh, it falls there and female part of the means ovary it has an egg this egg and pollen combine together to form fruit then from fruit seed seed new plant so the transfer of pollen grains from the anther and there is the male part of the flower and there is protein pollen grains isn't it from anther of one flower to the stigma stigma is the female part stigma of the another flower is called pollination so what is pollination children the transfer of pollen grains from the male part to female part means anther to stigma from anther to stigma of the another flower uh, from one flower to another flower from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower is called pollination then it can be carried out by wind water and insects so not only these insects carry pollens by wind also what happens this pollens get transferred from one flower to another even by water also so by wind water and insects this pollination happens okay children so what is pollination 
the transfer of pollen grains the yellow colored substance fine powder uh, transfer of pollen grains from the anther part the male part of one flower to the stigma the female part of another flower by insects wind or water it is called pollination venus fly trap is one insectivorous plant okay you know about venus fly trap it is a plant actually venus fly trap venus fly trap it's one word venus fly trap it, it is an insectivorous plant an insect eating insectivorous means insect eating uh, these plants they get the nutrition mostly uh, from the insects that they trap or trap we say so venus fly trap is an insectivorous is one insectivorous plant that has beautifully colored flowers this has some beautifully colored flowers to attract and trap the insects that's why it is known as venus fly trap it traps the insects by its attractive flower the insect comes and sit on this to feed the juice okay so and uh, pollination becomes successful because of that so venus fly trap is an insectivorous plant insect eating because they trap the insects by its attractive color of the flower so that is about pollination so did you understand children about pollination and how pollination takes place in flowers yes very good children so so far we learned about uh, flowers uh, its parts and how pollination takes place in flowers isn't it yes from the bud flowers bloom isn't it from the bud flowers bloom that we know yes then we learned about parts of flowers so there are four main parts of flowers we learned yes which are those main parts petals sepals then petals then stamen and carpel these are the four main parts of flowers so sepals they are the uh, green colored part they protects the flower when it is in the when it is in the bud yes then comes petals the most attractive part of the flower isn't it yes it comes in different sizes colors and shapes petals are of uh, different colors it can be in red pink yellow blue etc hmm? yes because this of this petals actually uh, pollination happens isn't it yes in petals uh, you uh, petals the sepals and uh, what all these parts stamen carpel they all stick they all uh, connect to the end of the stem called thalamus isn't it these all parts four main parts it connect to the end of the stem it is thalamus yes then stamens what is stamens yes they are the actually the male parts of the flower male part so in stamen we can see anther and filament and anther is produce anther produces pollen grains the yellow colored fine powder substance isn't it yes and then carpel carpel is the female part of the flower we learned in carpel we can see stigma style and ovary this ovary has egg in it isn't it yes then we learned about uh, plants bearing flowers most of the plant produce flowers but there are few plants that cannot produce flowers they are ferns and pine these plants uh, green colored plant green leaves isn't it they cannot produce flowers but most of the plants they produce flowers yes but some plants produce flowers during particular seasons and some plants they produce throughout the year isn't it yes there are flowers that uh, bloom during winter season like uh, dahlia pansy etc there are flowers that bloom during summer season marigold sunflower they bloom during summer season and there are flowers that bloom during spring season also tulips carnation they all uh, bloom during spring season isn't it yes then we learned about pollination the main thing in the flower isn't it pollination and the function of this uh, flower is to produce fruits and seeds 
so how it produces fruits and seeds or how pollination takes place in flowers the function main function how actually uh, yes uh, this uh, sep uh, petals the attractive parts of the flower they attract uh, insects bees and flies they get attracted towards this part of the flower or petals then what happens is they come and suck the sweet juice or sweet liquid of flowers called nectar so when bees and flies comes and they they suck the juice of the flower what happens the pollen grains stick to the body and when this flies or the bees moves to another flower to feed or to suck the juice what happens this pollen fall on the female part of the flower of that flower then pollination takes place then it produce fruits then seeds then new plant isn't it yes that is happening actually so pollination is the transfer of pollen grains uh, from the anther part of one flower to the stigma of another flower by wind insect or water is known as pollination isn't it yes and we learned about a plant insectivorous plant called venus fly trap trapping insects towards its attractive flower mm? then pollination takes place successfully isn't it yes